It's the Let's Fall in Love concert. Grammy Award winning singer Diane Reeves performing her interpretations of romantic tunes in what's become a Valentine's tradition for the past decade at Jazz at Lincoln Center's Rose Theater. For Reeves, it's a labor of love devoted to a day we celebrate lovers. We sat down with Reeves at Dizzy's Jazz Club to talk about her more than four decades of touring and performing and how she spent 2021 locked away like most of us riding out the pandemic. Where I live in Denver, Colorado is really beautiful. And I was just really able to unpack a lot of the things over the years that, you know, I thought, oh, I'd like to do, I need to do or whatever, and just start doing them. She started playing piano early, but it wasn't long before she discovered her voice was her true calling. She was helping another student prepare for a solo in her junior high school choir. I got one solo and this one girl needed help with her solo. As a matter of fact, it was an Aretha Franklin song, In the Spirit in the Dark. So I'm out in the halls telling her how to sing it and they're like, who? My teacher is like, who is that? And everybody's like, that's Diane. <laughs> the real turning point in Reeves' life happened when her high school jazz band played for a National Association of Jazz Educators event. Her voice captured the attention of legendary trumpeter Clark Terry. Clark came into my life, he saw possibilities, and he just jumped right on it and put me in situations that, like I always say, is the most fertile soil any young person could ever hope to have been planted in. From there, even though still in high school, her career took off. She found herself performing and touring at a tender age, but she was born for the music. In talking about Black History Month, Reeves spoke of the singers who influenced her, from Sarah Vaughan to Aretha Franklin to Ella Fitzgerald. In fact, the first time she met Vaughan was in 1975 at a tribute to Cannonball Adderley, but at the time, she didn't know it. I kept talking to this lady who had introduced, I, she said, what's your name? And I said, Diane. She said, what do you do? I said, I sing. And so she says, um, you know, well, who do you listen to? I said, Sarah Vaughan. She's like, really? You know, <laughs> the look on her face, you know, and then they said, Sass, you got five minutes. Somebody came and I still didn't get it <laughs> until she got up and went on stage. And I was like, just, I couldn't even believe it. As an adult, she produced a tribute album to Vaughn titled The Calling, which went on to score a Grammy. Ba -da -ba -ba. Reeves has traveled the world with her vocal stylings, singing in not just English, but Portuguese and French. She's also an educator, one who calls upon her students to see their voices as instruments and the song as a story to tell, told authentically. The one thing that I do know in this entire world, the greatest miracle is that nobody, nobody is the same. So I want them to develop that unique quality to um, define, refine, and respect who they are. Now, Reeves also says she worked on new music during the pandemic and is planning her first album in eight years for the end of this one. Now, shows are Friday and Saturday night beginning at 8 p.m. Jazz at Lincoln Center's Rose Hall, uh, Rose Theater, rather. And for more information and tickets, you can head over to ticketing.jazz.org.